originally commissioned to mark the Duke of Edinburgh's 100th birthday, an exclusive BBC documentary now dedicated to the late Prince Philip will show his children and grandchildren reminiscing fond memories. Interviews were filmed before and after Prince Philip's death in April and were conducted separately, with Prince Harry's tribute filmed in the US where he lives. Scheduled to air on Wednesday the 22nd of September at 9pm on BBC One, the documentary has been spoiled by some lucky few who watched it before broadcast. On screen, as Prince Harry is presented with several images of his grandfather's time as a pilot, he is reminded of the Duke's passion for aircraft. An interest that Prince Philip, Harry, William and also George, Charlotte and Louis now all share together. A section in the documentary shows Harry scanning Philip's flight logs from a 1983 royal tour which took him to Geneva, Nairobi, Jakarta and Delhi. Harry said, he was doing all the flying himself, or certainly chunks of it. When you're flying, you don't get an easy pass just for being the Duke of Edinburgh. You very much have to put in the work and prove your skill. But also he had an amazing privilege to get behind the controls and fly aircraft all around the world. I can just imagine my grandmother sitting in the back of a plane having a cup of tea, going through turbulence and going oh Philip. What are you doing? According to the Daily Mail, Prince Harry shared how fond he was of the relationship the Queen and her husband shared for many years. More than anything I miss his sense of humor, Prince Harry said. But I miss him more for my grandmother because I know how incredibly strong she was with him there. I also know she will be okay without him. The two of them together were just the most adorable couple. To me knowing the cheekiness of him and knowing that behind what the world sees you have two individuals who were very much in love and both, from a very young age, have dedicated their lives to service. That is an incredible bond between two people. The program will feature interviews with a variety of high-profile royals including Harry and William. But the cameras also received access to Buckingham Palace to meet the Duke's long-serving staff and to capture his study private office and library as they were during his seven decades of public service. With special access to the Queen's private Cine film collection, this film is an unrivaled portrait of a man with a unique place in royal history, by those who knew him best, said the BBC in a statement.